Here's my breakdown of each analyst's performance. I've ranked them. And if we want to follow the old GE model of removing the bottom 10%, it does, unfortunately, mean someone has to be let go. And you can see from the bottom box who. So I'll tell HR and... Wait a sec. You're doing it off the chart? The chart makes it clear. And right before bonus time. That's cold. Even by my standards. Yeah, that's not how we do it here. On paper, not like that. Asymmetrical returns, right? Not just in the stocks but in our people, too. I need you to sit down with each one of them. I want you to probe for their strengths and for their weaknesses. I want you to figure out who's going to outperform your data and who has already had his best year. Sitting with everyone so they can equivocate and explain away what's already been shown clearly seems inefficient. Taylor, I know you come from analytics, and I know that the numbers are where you live, but you've got to learn the other piece, too. There's a small group who can do the math. There's an even smaller group who can explain it. But those few who can do both... They become billionaires. From a man who knows. Well said, sir.